All right, free. If not, we'll take some questions from the room. You believe in moral victories, Rico? After, <laughs> after that last one? No, I mean, everybody asked that. Uh, we're not about moral victories, but um, we did play well. Um, I like the way our team's starting to find some chemistry and gelling together. And we knew it would take time. I and mean, we had 17 new guys. And uh, some of it's just on me and, and our staff trying to figure out who's going to play with who and who who works well with uh, with one another. So, uh, listen, we, we played hard. We still got a long way to go. Uh, I thought we, we did a nice job of uh, really neutralizing Penn State's speed through the neutral zone on Friday. Um, but fell a little short in overtime. So uh, we had our chances, um, but came away with with nothing. So we still have a lot of work to do, and, um, and we'll get after it again today. Are there enough reasons, though, for positivity? I mean, even like just looking at last year, right, through six, 0-6, you have the one win so far through six. Yeah, I mean, you know, let's take away last year for for sure. I mean, that's a – we have a different team, different caliber of player now. And um, we've played two top 15 teams. Uh, I thought we played pretty good against St. Cloud the first night here. Uh, decent game up there at St. Cloud. Played Fairbanks fairly well, uh, who's beaten Nebraska and AIC and some good teams. Um, and then we played Penn State, who's undefeated, who's top 15 as well. So I think we're way ahead of of schedule from, uh, you know, where we were a year ago for sure. Um, we still have a long way to go to to get to that level, uh, but we're definitely in games. We have more depth. We have we can skate with teams. We can be physical with teams, um, and we're young. We, you know, we're we're dressing anywhere from nine to ten to eleven freshmen every night. So. Um, and those are the guys right now that are kind of leading the way, uh, which is good. Uh, we want that. So hopefully our older guys start stepping up a little bit uh, and our younger guys continue to do what they're doing. And we just work from day to day. That's, that's our focus. We just need to really stay in the moment, uh, really uh, focus on the process. Um, and as we do that consistently, we'll start getting bounces. Ferris this weekend, you know, I joked with Bob Daniels and his staff were among the guys who got together and decided that the buck should be around. You talk about some veteran guys who have, who have been around college hockey a long time. Just what do you expect from, from when you play Bob's teams? Well, you know, I've you known coach now for over 20 years. So he's um, he's had an unbelievable run at Ferris State. He's a great coach, great staff. Uh, all three of them um, have been there a long time. Great success, not only in CCHA, but WCHA, uh, NCAA tournament, some produce some pretty good hockey players. Um, they play the same way. They play hard. They play fast. They, they're physical. Uh, in their building, things happen fast. Uh, you have to be on your toes. you got to be ready to go. So 17 new guys, I mean, is that always the plan? Yeah, you know, as last year started to kind of, uh, progress a little bit. We felt like we needed to overhaul everybody and, um, you know, having 12 freshmen and, and five transfers um, ended up being the, the, the number. Um, but we feel good about our, our classes and the way they're balanced out um, in terms of who we have coming in the next couple of years and, um, and, and having a nucleus of freshmen that can um, really be kind of the foundation of what we're building here. I know uh, you would have one goalie that was injured and you would, you know, kind of that would have made that decision a little easier for yeah. you. I mean, what, what's the situation there health wise now? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, he's day to day. Um, so uh, expect him to be back uh, real soon and, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Um, obviously he's got to get back to game speed and, uh, and see some battles in front of him. Uh, you can't just throw him into the wolves. Um, so, but our other two guys are doing a good job and, um, you know, we like where we're at in terms of goaltenders. How are you holding up? I mean, your track record of success, lots of wins. How are yeah, you doing? I'm good. I, I like our team. I love our team. I like the nucleus of our team. I know what we're building here. Um, 
you know, this wasn't going to be a one year build. Uh, so, you know, same time, it's tough, right? You, you want to win every game. It's, you know, Friday was disappointing because we were so close and we played really well and we deserved better. But as I told the team on Friday, sometimes you, you're not going to get those bounces until you deserve those bounces. And the way you deserve those bounces is from practicing Monday through Thursday, the same way being consistent, taking nothing for granted, making sure the details are there every time you step on the ice and then making sure you play on the first night of the weekend, not just the second night of the weekend. Once we get to that level, then you start getting bounces in overtime. You start getting bounces during the game where you're beating a team and you're playing out playing a team. Uh, in the second period on Friday, we had, uh, you know, seven or eight really good grade A chances and hit two posts. Those will start going in as long as we're paying attention to detail throughout the week and our work ethic continues to be consistent. Um, that's the formula in college hockey. Uh, you can't just, we're not going to be a team yet that can show up on Friday and Saturday and win games. We're going to have to work our way through it. I uh, joked that it was a poorly held secret, but it's now official that there's going to be an on-campus break. I mean, you know, we're, recruits of yours I've talked to have all said you come on that campus and it sells itself. I mean, you know, is it, is it a little added bonus when you can show them a plot of land and say, well, by the way, we're going to have a rink there in a couple of years? Yeah, we're making process or progress now, right? So we're excited about the on-campus. Um, we've got a lot of work to do here in the, in the next few months, but uh, I think everybody's excited and the energy and and what it could mean for our program and our women's program uh, and really just the university and the community and uh, being a multi-purpose facility, um, I think will add uh, to our prestigious institution, uh, add to our uh, student body and, and our alums and our community. If you get to make one addition to the blueprints, just for you, what, uh, what are you picking up? <laughs> well, having played at Pagula this past weekend, there's a lot of things that I like. So, uh, <laughs> You know, we'll have uh, Dr. Esten and I will have to talk about that uh, later date. But uh, actually, joking with him, my text, I said, "Can we play Pagula for the next couple of years?" <laughs> uh, and he laughed back. So we'll, we'll, we're going to get there. Um, it's a process, obviously, as you know, and a lot of things have to still come together. But uh, we're excited about making some process or progress here. What is your role in the process? Do you have a role in that process? In the building? Yeah, I mean, just. Whatever, do, whatever, Dr. Esten. yeah, whatever Dr. Esten wants me to be involved in, I'll be involved in. And, uh, you know, obviously we have to um, have to be involved in raising money and stuff like that and making sure that our our vision and our uh, the way we're going to handle things down the road are explained in a way where uh, everybody feels good about it. And, and we're making, as you know, progress on the ice. So. Uh, my job is to coach this team and make sure our players are developing not only on the ice, but off the ice as well. How much do things ramp up with conference play? Is there a ramp up? I mean, you mentioned yeah. you play St. Cloud, you play Penn State. I don't know how much more you can ramp up, but do things change with conference play? Absolutely. Points are on the line now. So you're judged in your league. Uh, and uh, every weekend we want to try to gain some points and, and make some headway in our league and um, ultimately be playing our best hockey at, at the right time, which is at the end of the year. And, put ourselves in the best situation we can. We play in the playoffs in our league. So um, this is our opportunity to uh, to show that we're getting better, to show that we're we're here to stay. And, and uh, obviously um, for us as well as a staff and as a program, it, it gives us an opportunity to evaluate what we need still and where we need to go. Can you talk a little bit about the the charm of sorts of college hockey, going to towns, going to a place like Paris State, and hockey's so big there, and the atmosphere you're going to play in. What's that like? I mean, like yeah, it's it's awesome, right? Um, you, this is what college athletics is all about. You get you walk in the building, you hear the band and uh, the student body, you know, saying some things that you sh that I can't repeat. <laughs> um, and uh, you know, we had that. At St. Cloud, we, we had a Pagula this past weekend. I think they had a song just for Aaron Trotter this past weekend, which was fun. Um, but Ferris is the same way. The dog pound, they call it, is loud. They're, they're going to pound on the glass, and they're going to make life difficult for the visiting team. So, But that's the fun part of college athletics. You don't forget those things. And um, it, it brings the best out of the home team, and I think it brings the best out of the visiting team as well. 
All right, we've got Ryan Steeg on the Zoom. If you have a question, Ryan. Hey, Rico, uh, how do you feel about uh, special teams? Feels like you guys made some progress over the weekend. Do you feel like it's getting to where you want it to be, or do you feel like it's the same, or how do you feel about it? No, I, I think, Ryan, the, you know, our step in the right direction for sure. Um, our PK has been, I, I think, fairly consistent from the start. We've given up a couple five-on-three goals, which is tough for anybody. But um, I thought our power play moved the puck as well as they've moved it all year. We moved some guys around. You know, we changed a, a scheme or two here and there. But uh, we did get a power play goal on Friday, which was important in our um, – in the direction that our team was going in, in terms of how we were playing. So, um, you know, I always talk about making sure that our power play gains momentum. Uh, we don't have to score every time, but we have to have some momentum. Uh, timely goals on the power play are really important. Uh, so we did that last game. Your penalty kill, same thing. You got to gain momentum. Um, right now we've got a group of guys that are buying into what we're doing. So um, still got to get better, but, uh, you know, I like where we're at. All right, all set. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We've been another day.